seven companies have secured U.S. Navy contracts worth $495 million combined to construct and repair naval bases within NAVFAC's southwest area of responsibility. To help navigate this often complex world of GovCon auditing, with a particular focus on the Department of Defense, the Potomac Officers Club has put together an event in collaboration with CACI, Crowley and Uninet, called the Challenges and Best Practices to Achieving Audit Readiness in the DoD Forum. Christina Mancinelli, formerly Director of National Critical Systems at Lockheed Martin Space Arm, has been named Vice President of Space Security, Cyber and Analytics within the division's National Security Space Unit. McLean, Virginia-based systems integrator OST, has received a 97.4 million contract modification from the U.S. Army, for extended delivery of systems engineering and technical assistance services to the Program Executive Office for Simulation, Training and Instrumentation. Srini Iyer, Chief Technology Officer at Lido's Health Business Group, said companies might look for ways to get around the reporting requirements outlined in President Biden's executive order on the trustworthy development and use of artificial intelligence, raising the possibility of shadow AI in the healthcare sector. Amentum will perform entry control monitor, observers and construction surveillance technician support at Offutt Air Force Base in Nebraska under a $49.8 million contract from the U.S. Air Force. David Roberts, former director of manufacturing at Northrop Grumman, has been appointed vice president of real estate and facilities at General Dynamics Electric Boat Business. Government services provider Unison named Ian Graham as vice president and general manager for its federal civilian, and Maria Jannar as senior director of business development and corporate growth as part of a series of corporate changes. Join Potomac Officers Club's 2023 Healthcare Summit on December 6, 2023. Visit potomacofficersclub.com slash events. The U.S. Coast Guard is increasingly depending on automatic identification system provided data to help safeguard the maritime border of the Customs and Border Protection and potentially the Indo-Pacific region. Firefly Aerospace closed the third tranche of its Series C funding round joined by new and existing investors. The end-to-end -end space transportation company has raised around $300 million since February this year.